What is up? This is a little bit of a F2L trick that I think is a bit underexplored. It's just something of a shower thought I had. I also heard through the uh, grapevine that Patrick Ponce has been uh, looking at this as well. Uh, I could be wrong. Patrick, if you're watching this and this isn't something you've heard of, just <laughs> roast me in the comments, bro. Um, anyway, so the idea is basically finding ways to like force M prime. And what I mean by force M prime is like scenarios in F2L where so we're solving this pair, ignore this, this doesn't really matter, we're talking about the blue and red pair. And when the whole solution, so it's R, U prime, R prime, L, U prime, L prime, you'll notice that in the middle it goes R, U prime, and then you have R prime, L. And that R prime, L is key because anytime you have R prime, L, or I guess L, R prime, that could just be an M prime. So this pair could really just be R, U prime, M prime, B prime, wide R prime, like that. And it flows pretty well, um, obviously a little bit more risky, but clearly there are some F2L cases where this does work out quite well. Now, in total there are 18 unique F2L cases where you get a um, 5 mover like this, where you're, you know, you're going from either the front left to back right, or you're going from front right to back left. And the way you figure out these cases is you basically just set up a free pair like this without AUF, either like this or like that, or the U2 variant. And then using the other, the diagonal slot, you just test out all the options like that. So like this could be one case, or if it's like this, you could do that. And that's basically how you work them all out. So you test like this, followed by that, or you could test this, followed by that, or you could test this, and then followed by all of these. And that can be how you find all of the variants. Now for which ones are good and which ones aren't, I haven't really put in the grunt work to figure that out. But if one of you guys wants to do that, then feel free to make a PDF, talk about the cases that are good, talk about the ones that aren't, explain why they're bad, do you see like finger tricks and stuff like that, and then just, you know, slap your name on it and call it what you want, like, um, I don't know, ABC Cuba Dank F12 Method, or whatever your name is, I don't know. Anyways, that's the idea, hope you guys like it, hope you guys play with it, hope you guys expand on it, and that's it. Thanks for watching.